you, you know, India should be a, a leader there, of course. Um, <laughs> I, I think it. I think it is pretty hopeless, but pretty hopeless, but. <laughs> Do you know why I am laughing? Oh my goodness! <laughs> If I will tell you, you will laugh more than me. Do you know why? One person said in 2023, India could not make chatbot like OpenAI. The models, you know, be it uh, ChatGPT and many others. But if you want to build foundational models, how should we think about that? Where is it that a team from India, you know, three super smart engineers with, you know, not a hundred million, but let's say 10 million could actually build something truly substantial. Look, the way this works is we're going to tell you it's totally hopeless to compete with us on training foundation models you shouldn't try. And it's your job to like try anyway. And I believe both of those things. <laughs> I, I think it. I think it is pretty hopeless, but pretty hopeless, but. And now he is saying India can make chatbot, and India should be a leader in open AI. So I think India should be doing everything. I think India should be one of the leaders of the AI revolution. That it's a. Uh, it, it's really quite amazing to see what the country has done and embraced the technology and building uh, again the, the entire stack of things on top of it. Do you know who is this man? He is the founder and CEO of OpenAI Chat GPT. His name is Sam Altman. He accepted the potential of India and said India can make chatbot like OpenAI and India should be a leader in artificial intelligence. Hey everyone, this is Pavan Bali. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a story that's making waves in the world of technology and innovation. Remember when Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI said India was hopeless. Yes, India was hopeless to build its own AI chatbot. Well, fast forward today and India is proving him wrong in the most epic way possible. In 2023, during his visit to India, Sam Altman made headlines when he said that India's chances of building a successful AI chatbot were well hopeless. His comments sparked a lot of debates with many questionings whether India could truly compete in the global AI race. But guess what? India did not just sit back. Instead, we saw the rise of DeepSeek, DeepSeek AI Chinese model and Indian AI initiative that showed the world what we are capable of. And now the Indian government is taking things to the next level. Recently, Ashwini Vishnu, India's Minister of Railway, IT and Broadcasting announced that India is building its own AI chatbot. Confident that using those concepts, we will be able to have a world-class foundational model in the coming few months. This is not just a response to Sam Altman's comment. It's a statement, a statement that India is ready to lead in the field of artificial intelligence. So what does this mean for India? For starters, it's a huge step towards self-reliance in technology. India has always been a hub for innovation. And with this move, we are showing the world that we are not just consumers of technology, but we are creators. Here is why this is a big deal. Number first, localized solution. An Indian AI chatbot can address the unique needs of our diverse population from healthcare to education. Number second, job creation. Building and maintaining this chatbot will create thousands of jobs in tech and artificial intelligence. Number three, global competitiveness. This puts India on the map as a serious player in the global AI race. And to Sam Altman, well, let's just say India's response is not just a chatbot, it's a mic drop moment. Because when it comes to innovation, India doesn't just hope we build. So what do you think about India's AI ambitions? Do you believe this is the start of new era for Indian tech? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more stories like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in next one. Bye-bye.